Today, you'll learn one important trick to double your chances of getting a yes after your pitch in English. And this is part four and the final part of our special series about how to improve your English at work fast. All right, let's go. Hi, I'm your English coach, Christina. I'm a neuro-language coach and the founder of Business English with Christina, an international company that helps people become better at their business skills in English. And today I'm really excited to get into this fourth and final lesson. But of course, if you want to follow up, we've got a free masterclass coming up on Thursday, March 23rd to help you go deeper into the next step of this series. And you can sign up for that down and the link that's below the video. All right, so in parts one, two, and three of this series all along, you've been learning how your pitch will show your competencies, your strengths, your skills, the value you bring, and how you can ask for the thing that you want from the person who is listening to your pitch. You had several examples. Maybe you've even created your own pitch and now you are ready to put all of that together and see how to double your chances of getting a yes. So what's the secret? It's actually really simple. It's to be sure that you follow up with the person, but also to let them know that you're going to follow up so that they know to expect something from you after your discussion. So let's imagine, you know, you're at a conference, you have made a great new contact and it's time to conclude the conversation. So what can you say at the end here? Something like this. It was nice talking to you and I'll send you a quick follow-up email later today about a contact at Med Inc. Perhaps you've been talking to someone about how your business can help their business. You could end your conversation like this. It was nice talking to you. I'd love to send you some details about how we could help your company. And maybe you've just shared a great new idea that could help the company where you already work and you want to follow up to make sure they put your idea in place. Could we meet in the next few weeks to discuss how this new project could work for our company and maybe set up a timeline for our work? Okay, so now this is the exciting part. You know, you've been through this entire series on how to create your pitch in English and also how to improve your English faster and more efficiently by focusing on one important thing at a time, like my cat who's just decided to totally video bomb this lesson, but that's okay because yes, she's the cutest cat in the world. Anyway, um, you know, seeing how you can really have a higher impact for less effort, let's say, focusing on one thing that's important, breaking it down, and then I would say fixing the problem really one step at a time. I'm going to push my cat out of the way. There we go. A little transition there. So if we want to wrap all of that up, what would the entire pitch sound like? Here's an example taking some of the elements from everything that you've seen all during this series. Hello, I'm Christina. It's nice to meet you. I'm the founder of Business English with Christina, which specializes in helping tech scale-ups build profitable business relationships with Americans. We just finished helping Global Med raise $50 million to expand their presence in the American market. You know, I read that Perfect Core is growing too. My team and I would love to help you talk to American investors who could help your business to expand into new markets. And don't forget the call to action. It was nice talking to you. I'd love to send you some details about how we could help your company. And of course, you might not deliver that as one monologue. That might come in as a dialogue or a conversation. But either way, you know what you want to say. You know how you can bring value. You can show that you know, you're credible, that you get results, and then you can ask specifically what you want from the other person. Now, I know what you're going to say because so many people have already asked me this in the past. All right, yes, great, Christina. Uh, I've pitched to them. I've got their attention. I've said I'm going to follow up. How do I actually do that? How do I actually follow up? Great question. And that's actually what we're going to cover in the live workshop that is the, I would say, the next bonus part in this series. 
So if you want to come and join me for that free workshop, it's on March 23rd, and you can get your invitation by signing up to my newsletter down in the link below this video. And then when you sign up to the newsletter also, you're gonna be the first to know about a program that is going to help you to become more confident speaking English, help you to improve your English skills faster with less effort. And it's a program that with my team of expert coaches, we have, we've done it with hundreds of other clients. We've refined it over the years and honestly, it's one of the best programs out there. So if you want all of that information, sign up for the newsletter. The link is down below. And I just want to say thank you for following the series. I hope to see you in the workshop. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. See you then.